Hey, it's a function student here, so they're gonna demonstrate how to get AEC encryption working with Java, and I'm gonna showcase a small program I created inside JavaFX, where we're able to encrypt and decrypt some text. So let's just demonstrate how it works. So AEC works by having a key, which contains of a bit array, which would either be a 128, a 196, or a 256, if I remember correctly, 128, 192 or 256 bytes long. In my case, I just have the smalls, which is more than enough. I'm just demonstrating how it works in 128 bit. And it is just, in this case, written as hexadecimals. And then I created a small program that transforms this hexadecimal string into a bit array. I then have my input, which I would just put my name, Daniel. I would then hit encrypt. And we get this output which seems very <laughs> random and hard to decrypt but as long as we have the same key and we know ex and have the exact same setup behind using some initializing values we're able to decrypt and get the message so let's actually have a look at how it works and there will of course be a link down in the description if you want to look at the source code yourself so firstly i just have a very simple controller setup text fields, some buttons, whenever I click the button, call some methods. Yes, let's have a look at the methods. So I'm just gonna be going through how to basically get this set up in Java and not so much talk about how the actually AEC encryption works. And it's also quite complicated and I'm actually not even sure I completely understand all the concepts on it, of it. Or at least I'll be able to explain it probably. So if you wanna learn more about AEC, just Read up and online, there's a lot of uh, sources. But let's have a look at how I do it and how it basically works. So I first have a encrypt method, which takes in an input string and a byte array. We then have a lot of thrown exceptions, because actually a lot of things can go wrong. But otherwise we create a chipper, which is part of the crypto package. And we're going to use the crypto packets and the security packets quite a bit to make it quite a bit easier to create these um, decryption and encryptions. We then have a cipher set up as a singleton. We then pass a string telling it which kind of uh, algorithm we're going to be using. The AEC, advanced encryption standard, like as the first. Then specific, we're going to use CBC and then a specific pattern. We then have to create a key which takes in our byte array and again we tell it it is going to be used as a advanced encryption standard key we then have a standard or a chipper where we give it again tell it it's an encryption mode we then give it the key and we then give it an iv parameter spec which kind of tells it how to initialize or how we're going to be encrypting specifically so it's also kind of like a set for the encryption so if we have multiple values we can change to make sure we get different outputs and inputs we then create a byte array which is going to be our encrypted message because it's all done using bytes and bits so we have a byte array which then call our cipher dot do final we then take our input and turn it into bytes it is then encrypted we then change our bytes back into a string, so we're able to read it. And therefore we get this weird thing down here. Let's just do it again, this one. We can then do kind of the same, but a bit opposite, and is therefore able to get our decrypted value back, and we just return it as a string, because again, it's a, all working with bytes, a byte array, and then return the byte array to plain text and then a quick second method i'm using just very simply to get our string key string this one and turning it into a byte array we just simply get all the values of the string and then split them on spaces put them into a string array and then turn each of the numbers into bytes so this is basically how it works and as mentioned I'm not going to be talking more about actually how it works but this is more how I would do a basic setup 
in Java. And get it working to create this simpler graphical user interface with JavaFX. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe. And I hope you learned something. And I wish you all a wonderful day.